Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's Ian K. And judging by the title to this review, guys, I'm very happy to report the obvious to you. I've actually found the limited edition Pringles Scorchin' Hot Ones, the classic hot sauce, over at a local Circle K, guys. I am so excited to give this one a shot here right now. Described as a combination of classic Pringles dusted with hot sauce that's actually supposed to have an extra peppery kick. I think this is gonna be pretty nice, guys. And considering how threatening this looks on the can, this is looking really, really cool. I have to admit, very excited to give this one a go. After checking out the Los Calientes Verde version recently, let me just say I was very happy to give this exclusive flavor a shot. I'm so glad I found this. So without further ado, let's not waste any more time on this one. Give this one a shot. We're gonna see if we can pop and can't stop here right now, as always. Let's give this a go. I'm not gonna look at these. I'm just gonna smell it real fast. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh wow. That just went right up the nose. Oh, wow, that is very strong. And judging by how this looks here right now, this is looking like it's gonna be super threatening. Again, described as having an extra peppery kick of hot sauce goodness on top of a classic Pringle, all the salty goodness. Texturally, it looks pretty nice, but overly dusted. I'm not used to seeing Pringles that look like this. Let's give this a shot, guys. Let's get this one going here. It's the classic hot sauce variant of the Pringle Scorchin' brand name, along with the hot ones. Let's do it. Mmm, almost like a Tabasco type of hit right up front. So far, it's a little weak. Wow, it's kind of building, but not really. That gave me a little bit more of a jolt in my nose than it did in the actual flavor of this instantly. But, I mean, it's flavorful. There's a little bit more of a vinegary type of taste with this one here. Like it's trying to be hot. Looks a little bit more threatening than it actually is. I mean. It's kind of building just a little bit, but so far, this doesn't really have anything on the Los Calientes Verde that I just did, which I thought was a little bit hotter than this already. At least up front, I'm feeling like this is gonna be something, but it's not really doing anything. I mean, it's a nice flavor. Almost like a weaker type of like Tabasco. Wow, that's kind of disappointing. Not really too much on this one in terms of heat. I'm very surprised. I don't think we're gonna see any steam effects in this video actually, but I mean, I love the can. It looks really cool naturally, pretty cool there, looking like it's gonna be super threatening. But wow, talk about a little bit more bark than bite on this one. Let's just keep going in for a couple more. It's got the essence of hot sauce, like it's gonna be hot, but as you're chewing and chewing and chewing, the vinegary type flavor is there combined with the nice awesomeness of the Pringles flavor in general the saltiness, and then it just peters out. There's nothing really there with just a little bit of a sizzle in the background, but not uh, not super hot. I don't know about this one here with the hot sauce, but you know, it is what it is. As always, this has got that QR code for that dare to scan type of promo where you can win one of 400 cans of a dabified version of Pringles, which is supposed to be just a very heavy version of, you know, spice naturally. I would think they're in like a collector can, pretty cool. But guys, I am a little disappointed with the heat level on this one. So. It kind of is what it is. This is kind of a little quickie review. I thought it was going to be a little bit more in depth, but I am not getting any real heat here. And I've got my water on the side and everything. I mean, they look threatening. They look really nice. You can't tell me these don't look pretty cool. But at the same time, what they're pushing here, guess what? The classic hot sauce, it is not, not hot at all. I mean, it looks great on the can. I love the marketing with it naturally. It looks really, really cool. Limited time only. But again, all bark and no bite on this one, unfortunately. I mean, it is what it is, but it's a tasty Pringle nonetheless. So let me knock off this last one before we wrap this quickie review up with a rating real quick, guys. But so far, a little disappointing, but at the same time, still a tasty Pringle. Hmm. I like them though, they're just not hot. Classic maybe, classic hot sauce, no. Well, that's pretty unfortunate, it is what it is. But guys, overall, I'm gonna have to give the Pringle Scorchin' Hot Ones, the classic hot sauce, anything but hot, right? Just an okay seven out of 10. I mean, it's all right for what it is. Like I said, it's a tasty Pringle. It's got the saltiness. It's got a little bit of sizzle at the very end, but the more that you eat those, I guess the more it kind of builds. But initially up front, you're not gonna get anything from that there. So first we feast. Cool, I guess it's cool for the marketing naturally there with the hot ones, but it's funny how the can itself has a little bit more bite to it overall. But guys, it is what it is. Now, of course, I'm gonna have to find the Walmart variation of these, the Los Caliente Rojo version, because naturally I wanna finish out the trifecta. If I can find that one, of course you're gonna find it here on the channel, and hopefully I will. 
but I'm thankful to actually give this one a shot. It's tasty, but it doesn't hold a candle to the Los Calientes Verde version that I just did. Still very nice looking can, right? All right, so do me a quick favor. Drop those comments down below. Let me know if you've given this one a shot and what your personal assessment of this one was. Did you actually find this one hotter than the Los Calientes Verde? Or how about the Rojo version there? I'm trying to actually find that one, like I said, but naturally when it comes to the classic hot sauce, what did you personally think of this one? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next video coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Yeah, it's definitely no bueno when it comes to the heat department with this one, but definitely score one for the peeps in the art department. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.